I'm in Old Irving Park and I'm gonna show you Phenom Coffee. It's so much more than a coffee shop. It's a delightful hidden gem with some of the tastiest and delicious food. We sell books, uh, use books, uh, coffee, tea, pastries, as well as all, this, all the food that we make in house. Phenom means delicious in Hungarian. I had always wanted to do a place that served Hungarian food. Just my wife's Hungarian. I've been cooking it at home for a long time. Coffee shop food is this. It's like, are you hungry? Oh, I guess I'll eat something. Like that's what yeah. you do when you go to a coffee shop. Right? That's just to get food. by. Yeah, it's just, right. like, like, le like legitimate, just fuel. Like yeah. there's no, like you're not expecting much more than You don't expect something. restaurant quality. No, food. I'll just get a sandwich or a wrap. Right. I spent eight bucks for it. Why are you okay with that? We've elevated coffee and tea to this like, mm. this, pla this like level of like, wine. Okay, you have this really high level of food, of coffee connoisseurs, but then the, the food, food is like right here. It's like this big gap that no one is thinking about. All I really want to do is just have people like really just be more conscious of how they they think about where they eat and how they eat and how much they spend. People are surprised by it. Like, there's like, yo, this is like food. Again, I've heard people say like, this is actual food. I'm like, yo, what are you guys eating? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, chef, we're back in your kitchen, and this is not <laughs> a, a very, full kitchen. It's a very loose term we use here for kitchen. How do you make all this incredible food in not a full kitchen? Man, that's been like the challenge, like really trying to figure out like how to MacGyver stuff. Right? <laughs> so no range back here. Nah. I have a convection. I'm like essentially a big ass toaster oven, a soup warmer. Mm -hmm. um, and you got a hot and a, and a, a hot plate, right? Yeah, essentially, yeah. It's it's like it's like the it's like a rich kid's hot plate. It's an induction burner, so like that's literally all I have. The lecho sandwich is like legitimately my favorite thing on the menu. It's it's a croissant, a scramble. It's, it has like scrambled eggs, like with peppers, tomatoes, onions, and like belt, melty like cheese, and like this really weird absinthe mustard. The marrow toast is probably my other, like, for real, for real favorite thing. Like, what goes in the marrow toast? We use uh, cap, like, veal brains, chicken livers, and smoked pork belly. Mm -hmm. to make a pate with that. Serve it, like, we chill it and serve it on a toasted baguette with watermelon radish, macro greens, pickled tomatoes, cured egg yolk, flowers. It's just grandma food. There's not. There's no like grandma with touches. It's of, a little bit of touch of, of this and that. You know, like a little bit of a little bit of fine dining to it. Like refinement. Refinement. There's exactly. No, yes. Okay. What were some of your most popular uh, coffee drinks? Uh, definitely the Turkish delight, which is one of the specialty lattes. So it's a, a rose water syrup, cardamom. You know, espresso, steamed milk. So what do you hope people experience when they come and try your food here? Surprise, like wonderment, I guess. That should be how you feel every time you spend a dollar to eat. Like you should be like, damn, but that was no regret. Yeah, it's like seven dollars, but that was a great seven dollars. You know what I mean? Like, and that's like what I want everybody to come. Like that's what I want the takeaway to be. This building has been here for two hundred years, man. It has so much history, and like we we're just one more occupant in it, right? And that's what like I want it to be. Like all of our story, like Danny's story, my story, the building story, Irving Park story. Like he's starting to philosophize. You again. see it? That's how I do, man. <laughs> I get deep with it. <laughs>